guys, welcome to an After Effects tutorial and I'm doing a voiceover because while I was recording this, QuickTime decided not to record my audio, so there's literally no sound except me talking. Um, I don't think QuickTime even records like the sound of my computer. Um, maybe you have to change that in settings, I don't really know. Anyways, when you start with After Effects, what you want to do is you want to um, click New Composition and you can name your composition whatever you like and uh, change the resolution by whatever you want to and the duration is important. Um, I think this song is like around 20, like 30 seconds. So I'm going to put 40 seconds in there. Um, I'm obviously going to make it because it's the meme I just made. The... I forgot the name again. But you know the meme I just made, the collab. Um, so basically we are going to just change the background color to pink because I think it looks nice. I don't know. Um, and what you want to do is press Command I or Control I to import stuff, or Control Alt I or um, Option Alt I to import multiple files from your computer. And I have these uh, uh, airdropped from my phone. But if you don't have a Mac or if you don't have a iOS phone or something, um, you can always email it to yourself uh, or just draw it straight from the computer. So I am going to input my files and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Alright, now that all of my files are done, you want to drag them all down here. So you just want to select them and drag them down to where all they are um, on the bottom left corner. And now they're going to be in random order. It's probably alphabetical order. So you want to just really quickly um, drag each of the files um, uh, to their order. The top is obviously at the top and the bottom is at the bottom. So I'm going to draw, drag like the bangs uh, to the top and the like hair to the bottom and stuff. So she looks normal. And she is a little bit squished. I'm not entirely sure why. Like After Effects 2020 has been a little bit like Gucci. Or maybe because it's a bit newer. But uh, 2019 works perfectly fine. And it's basically like the same. I haven't noticed any differences. So if you use 2019, that's completely fine. Um, so I don't know why this is happening. Maybe After Effects is having a seizure or something. But you want to drag it to exactly um, the frame. Because my drawing was done on a YouTube resolution 16 ratio 9. Um resolution so i'm just going to drag them back out there so they don't look like a squished potato and once that is done um you can play it back i know you can't hear anything and i'm not entirely sure why but um if you press spacebar it will play or you can change it um but anyways that's the basic and if you look at what i'm doing right now i'm dragging those like wiry looking things to things because um i'm dragging the face to the head so it's linked so if you move the head the face is going to move with the head which makes it really helpful if you're doing head bobbing or turning your head so your eyes don't, I don't know, fly out of your forehead. Um, so that is something really, really nice about After Effects. You can also do like the bottom half of your arm to the top half of your arm, the top half of your arm to your um, torso, etc. Which makes tweeting so much easier. Um, and obviously, see, this is what I'm showing you. Everything is linked to the head. Uh, so when the head turns, the hair turns with it. Um, but one thing you do want to do later is anchor point. I'll show you guys later when um, I'm doing head bobbing. But we are going to start off with doing some like hair tweening or like flowing of the hair because that is probably what most people want because you can't really do that on your phone. Um, you can do it on Photo Bender, but that's only on Google Play Store. Um, so yeah, so you want to take uh, puppet pins at the top uh, like of the all of the random tools. You want to click the pin. And you want to pin um, three points of your hair if you're beginner because it's a lot easier. It's what I do. So you want to pin the base, the middle, and the end of the hair. Like I'm doing right here. Obviously, if you want, you can add a lot more strands and the hair will look a lot more natural. But this is really basic and it's just like the hair as one piece. Um, some people like to do like, you know, just one strand of hair on its own and another strand of hair. But now that you've done that... Um, you want to on the left if you like you might you you'll see the puppet thing and then you want to click on mesh re 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 something i can't actually read it right now but you want to click on that like stopwatch thing okay and then that's going to set your timestamps so if you click it that is going to set your first timestamp and then um i would recommend about one second to two second for the hair flowing speed and you want to click that little blue thing that my mouse is hovering over which is another timestamp and on that timestamp, when it's blue, it means it's neglected. And you can just drag the little yellow dots that you just placed down, and that will make the hair flow. 
and you can just do that back and forth. I'm not entirely sure how to copy and paste because I'm not the best at After Effects. I'm sure you can search up the tutorials, but I've been doing it by hand and that is going to make the hair flow as you can see right now. Um, and uh, if it's really slow motion, it's probably just because it's rendering. So don't worry about that. Playing it back will render it out um, and make it smooth and real time and faster. Um, and yeah, basically, uh, I really recommend having a more powerful computer because if your computer is not that powerful, it's going to crash. It's going to lag a lot. Um, so yeah, my, com my laptop isn't even that powerful and it's really laggy. Like it's pretty laggy. But doing it on a, like, just a computer would be so much better. Not a, I wouldn't recommend a laptop, but um, it's the only thing I have After Effects on, apart from my dad's work computer, but obviously that's for work. So what you want to do now, um, so basically when it's rendering, you will see that it's not playing in real time. If you go to info, it says not real time in red. Um, so basically that means it is currently rendering. Now I'm going to talk to you guys about head bobbing and movement of the head. Um, I'm just finishing up the hair here as you can see. But basically what you want to do with the head is you want to first of all click on your head file. Which I've just named head lol because I'm basic. Um, so you want to click the little arrow facing to the right and that is going to open all of the transformation settings. And um, basically what you want to do there is you want to click on anchor point. And you want to use the little like scale number things. And if you don't have it, make sure the bottom left corner little thing is checked. And you just want to make sure that um, the chin of your head is on the anchor point. Because when you turn, you want the base of your head to be like where your neck is, not like on your forehead. So that is what you're going to do. And once your anchor point is set, um, I will show you what the rotation looks like. Now it looks like it's actually moving from your neck, not like your eyebrows or something. So once that is done, I'm gonna show you how to do a simple head bob. You wanna go position and you wanna click on that like little stopwatch thing again. And the thing with After Effects is right before you want it to go down, you must click another one. Um, so that it isn't like a really slow transformation. Um, and then you wanna click it again and then you can use the position and you wanna drag it down. Um, why, in terms of why, um, you wanna go down. And then you want to come back up and you remember to set another one of those timestamps. And basically that is a head bob for you. Um, you can definitely add some of the in and out type things. Like um, I'm pretty sure on After Effects it's like um, there's like round, there's elastic, there's back. There is a way to do that on After Effects. You just select it and then I think you press F9. But on a Mac, I don't know, my keyboard doesn't really like F9. So what you can also do is go up to the top and click help. And then you want to search easy ease. Um, keyframe assist. Easy ease. You want to click on that. And then these will turn these keyframes. And then you want to select all three of them. And click the graph thing that I just clicked on. I don't know what else to describe it. And then this is like the graph chart. Um, if you do use Video Star, I'm pretty sure you're going to be a little bit more familiar with graphs and stuff. Uh, I don't use Video Star, so I'm actually not really familiar with graphs, but it does do things. So I'm not going to go into that because I don't even know how to do it. So yeah, um, that's going to give you a head bob and then you will see the hair moving. So that is it for this tutorial. It's super, super basic and easy. Um, I just really would recommend having a good computer, or at least a computer, not a laptop. But that is a really basic tutorial um, of how to use After Effects for gacha needs. Um, it's pretty easy, as you can see, and you can definitely mess around with the scale, rotation, opacity settings, transformations, if you really want to. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. I'm not going to be saving this because obviously I've already made this meme. Uh, you can go check it out. I'll leave it at the top right corner for you to see. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. And if you're wondering what that like white thing is, I'm covering my name because that's my vault name. So yeah, bye.